I'm the Fighting Wrangler. My name is Marley Graves. For 30 years, I've been a certified professional interior horticulturist. I've taken care of bazillions of plants in offices and malls and hotels. I've taught the craft to lots of people. And I've created a course here in my sunroom in St. Petersburg, Florida, to show you the secrets of how the professionals take care of houseplants. So here we are. I have been so looking forward to this because we are going to get to play in the soil. It's going to be so much fun. I love to play in the soil. So soil. Now, we don't call it dirt. The dirt is outside in the garden and you never use outdoor dirt to plant indoor plants. You don't use topsoil. You don't use garden soil. You don't use any of that stuff. The reason being it doesn't have the right texture. It gets all mashed together and if you dig it up from the garden it can have all kinds of bugs and things in it that you don't want. So you always have to go. You either have to buy some soil or you have to make your own soil. And when you buy soil you're going to be buying either a um, potting soil of some sort. It can be regular potting soil. It can be um, potting soil for um, African violets, it can be potting soil for uh, cactuses, which is what I like to use because it's uh, got more sand and stuff in it. Or you can buy something called a soilless mix, which is all peat moss and it's lighter weight. And we'll talk about that more in a little bit. Anyway, soil consists of particles and spaces all your soil or your potting medium, that's another word you can use, consists of particles and spaces of varying sizes. And the particles can be organic things or inorganic things. The spaces can be air or water. Now I have a bunch of stuff here just to look at something. We have uh, organic things. So the soil can be made of bark, pieces of bark, and the bark can be all ground up. Usually it's ground up in a variety of sizes. So it's going to look like that. Lots of sphagnum moss is used in, in potting soil. Sphagnum and peat moss, so they're pretty much the same. And of course this is big sphagnum moss, but it's all ground up into different size pieces. A lot of charcoal. Charcoal is excellent because it uh, sweetens the soil makes it real nice for the plants. And that again can be ground up or left in various size chunks. <clears throat> also, under the heading of the organic particles are the little living organisms in the soil, the fungi, the microbes, the tiny little animals, and their products, otherwise known as poop. And they're all in the soil and when those little guys have finished breaking down the organic particles, what you get is humus. And that's broken down into tiny, tiny pieces. It's all uniform, all the same color. It's called humus. And it, uh, the particles are, are very, very small, maybe down even to one twenty-five thousandths of an inch. Now you also have your inorganic particles. The inorganic uh, particles can be mixtures of things like uh, vermiculite, which is an expanded silicate material, heat expanded silicate materials, very lightweight, they do hold water, and they are it's used in packing materials, but the plant industry took it up to use it because it is so lightweight. Another one like that is perlite, which is uh, a, a volcanic glass type of thing that's also expanded by heat and popped. In other words, puffed, puffed volcanic glass. And it holds water and it's very light. So it's excellent in the soil. Uh, you find a lot of varieties of clay in different sized pieces and crushed granite, also rock, crushed rock. And as the pieces get smaller and smaller and smaller, uh, you get some sand, and then you get smaller and smaller and smaller pieces. You get to on very tiny pieces, and that's what we know as clay soils, because the pieces up, again, are about down to one twenty-five thousandths of an inch. And, um, you know, you might wonder what breaks down the pieces if they're in a pot of soil. 
So that would basically be just watering of your plants and also the chemical activities that go on in the plant and the activities of the microbes and any, everything like that. All of these pieces get broken down. The soil gets compacted, the pieces get smaller and smaller, and that's why eventually you have to change the soil if you're going to have healthy plants.